December 23rd, 2014 from the FAU Football Stadium in Boca Raton, Florida. It was the Boca Raton Bowl between the Marshall Thundering Herd and the Northern Illinois Huskies. So now the Huskies would take over first in this game on the 18-yard line after the opening kickoff. And they would end up getting a couple first downs and into Marshall territory, but their drive would stall on the 39 as they would bring out their punting unit to punt the ball on 4th and 4 from the 39. And now the Thundering Herd would take over on their own 3-yard line after the punt backed up against their own end zone. And on first down, Devin Johnson took it 33 yards on the ground all the way to the 36 for the first down. And then Rakeem Cato hit Tommy Schuler for an 11-yard reception. That made a first down on the Marshall 47, but they weren't able to get anywhere after that. And out would come the punting unit a few plays later to punt from the 47. So now the Huskies would take over on their own 33 after the punt with about 10 minutes left in the first. They're faced with a third and three from the 40, and Drew Hare ran for four yards in the first down to the 44, and then he picked up 19 yards as he brought the ball across midfield into the Marshall 37 for the first down for Northern Illinois. They're then faced with a second and nine on the 36, and a pass interference call against the Thundering Herd would make it a first down for the Huskies on the Marshall 21. Then on second and eight, from the 19. Drew Hare drops back and he hits Jawan Breskakin for a 19 yard touchdown pass to put the first points on the scoreboard with the score. Northern Illinois 7, Marshall 0. So now on the kickoff, DeAndre Reeves will return it 93 yards all the way for the touchdown to tie this game up at 7 apiece between the Huskies and the Thundering Herd. As Marshall gets the kick return for the touchdown. So the special teams touchdown. And now they would kick off. And the Northern Illinois actually got a penalty, an illegal block on the kickoff. They would make it a first down for them on their own six-yard line as they're backed up against their own end zone. And on third and four from the 12, Drew Hare dropped back and he was sacked by Jermaine Holmes. And so out would come the punting unit to punt from the 8-yard line. And now the Thundering Herd would take over in Northern Illinois territory on their own 42 after the kickoff with just under 6 minutes left to play in the first. And on first down, Rakeem Cato hit Tommy Schuler for a 14-yard reception and a first down to 28. And then he hit him for another 14-yard reception and made a first down in the red zone on the Northern Illinois 14 for the Herd. Then on third and one from the five, Rakeem Cato took it in for the five-yard touchdown run as the Herd took the lead for the first time in this game with the score now Marshall 14, Northern Illinois 7. So now the Huskies would take over on their own 26 after the kickoff. They were faced with a third and seven from the 29, and Drew Hare hit Christian Blake for a 15-yard reception of first down at the 44. Then on third and eight from the Northern Illinois 46, Drew Hare dropped back and he hit Luke Eeks for a 13-yard reception, a first down in Marshall territory at the 41. Cameron Stingley then ran for nine yards, another four yards, and that was a first down on the 28. And a holding penalty, though, would actually there was yeah, a holding penalty against the defense, and now it would be a first down in the red zone for the Huskies on the eight-yard line. And Joel Boignan would run for a four-yard run, and that would bring the first quarter to a close. So after one quarter of play in the Boca Raton Bowl, it was Marshall 14, Northern Illinois 7. So now to open up the second quarter, the Huskies had the ball in the red zone on the 14. It was second and six, but they ended up losing a yard on a run by Hare, and an incomplete pass would bring out Christian Hagen to attempt a 32-yard field goal. It was up, and it was no good. And so the score remained Marshall 14, Northern Illinois 7 as the Herd now would take over on their own 20 after the missed field goal. Then on second and eight from the 22, Cato went to Schuler. He picked up eight yards in the first down at the 30. Then on third and one from the 39, Devin Johnson took it 47 yards all the way across midfield into the Northern Illinois territory at the red zone on the 14-yard line for the first down on the ground. But they weren't able to get a first down after that. And out would come Justin Haig to attempt a 28-yard field goal. It was up and it was good. And now the Herd extended their lead to 10 points with the score. Marshall 17, Northern Illinois 7. 
So now the Huskies would take over on their own 35 with less than 12 minutes left before halftime. Cameron Stingley would run for 11 yards in the first down at the 46. Then on third and five from the 49, Drew Hare hit Turner for a five-yard reception of first down at the 44. And now Joel Bognon would run 27 yards all the way to the red zone for the first down at the 17. He then picked up another 13 yards and was first and goal on the 4. And then he picked up 3 yards. And so now it was second and goal on the 1. But Bognon would end up getting stopped short. Just no gain on two, comp two uh, consecutive plays. And out would come the field goal unit on fourth and goal from the one. Christian Hagen would attempt the 19-yarder this time. And it was up and it was good. And so now it's a seven-point game with the score. Marshall 17, Northern Illinois 10. So now the herd would have the ball on their own 35 after the kickoff. They're then faced with a second and five from the 40. And Cato took it 13 yards on the ground for the first down in Northern Illinois territory at the 47. Then on second and seven from the 44, Rakeem Cato hit Tommy Schuler for a 42-yard reception that made it first and goal on the two-yard line. An incomplete pass brought up second and goal from the two. They gave it to Devin Johnson, and he punched it in from two yards out for the touchdown. And the herd were now up by 14 with the score. Marshall 24, Northern Illinois 10. So now the Huskies would take over on their own 25 with about five and a half minutes left in the second quarter. And they would end up punting after six plays from their own 36. So now after the punt, the Herd would take over on their own 39 with about three minutes left before halftime. But on third and five from the 44, Rakeem Cato was sacked by Sean Foliard. And now it would come the punting unit to punt from the 36. So now the Huskies would take over on their own 38 with a little over a minute and a half left before halftime. They were then faced with a third and four from the 44. And Joel Boyganon ran 16 yards all the way into Marshall territory for the first down on the 40. Hare then went to Duran Brown. He picked up 26 on the reception and a first down in the red zone at the 14. They weren't able to get a first down after that and out would come Christian Hagen to attempt the 30-yard field goal. It was up. It was good and it was now an 11-point game with the score. Marshall 24, Northern Illinois 13. The kickoff would bring this game to halftime and so at halftime in the <laughs> at the Boca Raton Bowl, it was Marshall 24, Northern Illinois 13. So now to begin the second half in the third quarter, Northern Illinois would get the ball first, and it was actually an onside kick attempt, and they ended up recovering it, and that's why they got the ball. It was going to be Marshall's ball first, but the onside kick recovered by Northern Illinois, and they would have the ball on their own 40 to start their possession, and they would be faced with third and one. They got stopped for no gain, and so they would go for it on fourth and one from the 49, and Cameron Stingley was stuffed again for the second consecutive play for no gain, and the Huskies turned the ball over on downs as the Herd were able to erase that onside kick recovery that began the second half, and now Marshall would start their first possession of the second half on the Northern Illinois 49. They would go three and out, though, and end up punting from the Northern Illinois 42, and now the Huskies would have the ball on their own 20 after the punt with just over 12 minutes left in the third. Then on third and fourth from the 26, Drew Hare dropped back to pass and he was sacked by Jermaine Holmes. And out would come the punting unit as the Huskies went three and out on this possession. So now the Herd would take over on their own 44 after the punt with just under 11 minutes left in the third. They were faced with a third and 13 from the 41 and Rakeem Cato hit Deontay McManus for a 20-yard reception that made a first down on the Northern Illinois 39. Then Remy Watson ran for 13 yards in the first down to the 26. They were faced with a third and 12 from the 28, and a penalty against the defense for pass interference would make it a first down in the red zone for the herd on the Northern Illinois 13. Then on second and 10 from the 13, Hylick Foster ran 12 yards for the first down to make a first and goal on the one. They ended up getting a penalty for a legal formation that would move him back to the six and so I was first and goal on the six and Tommy Schuler catches the six yard touchdown pass from Rakeem Cato and it was now Marshall 31 Northern Illinois 13 as this one was starting to get out of hand so now after the kickoff Northern Illinois would take over on their own 25 with about six and a half minutes left in the third and on second and six from the 29 Drew Hare ran 16 yards all the way for the first down in Northern Illinois territory at the 
45. Then on second and nine from the 46, Drew Hare hit Turner for a 30-yard reception. They would make it a first down on the 24-yard line. And they hand it off then to Cameron Stingley. He ran it in 24 yards for the touchdown to make this once again a two-possession game with the score. Marshall 31, Northern Illinois 20. So now the Herd would take over on their own 32 with a little less than five minutes left in the third after the kickoff. And they had a second and five on the 37. Cato went to Yerkchek for a seven-yard reception. They made a first down on the 44. Then on third and two from the 48, Devin Johnson ran for three yards in the first down on the Northern Illinois 45. Then on third and 10 from the 45, Rakeem Cato dropped back in it. Angelo Jean-Louis for a 15-yard reception. They would make it a first down on the Northern Illinois 30. Devin Johnson then ran for 12 yards for a first down in the red zone at the 18. He ran for another seven and now a second and three from the 11 and Rakeem Cato dropped back and he hit Angelo Juan Luis for an 11 yard touchdown that would make it once again an 18 point game with the score Marshall 38 Northern Illinois 20 so now the Huskies would take over after the kickoff on their own 38 but they would end up going three and out as Drew Hare ended up being sacked on third down by Gary Thompson. So the punting unit came out to punt from the 33 and now the Herd would take over on their own 30 with less than a minute left in the third and a nine yard pass from Cato to Fronathel which I can't be saying right I've been butchering names the whole time but that brought the third quarter to a close. So after three quarters of play, the score was Marshall 38, Northern Illinois 20. So now to begin the fourth quarter, the Thundering Herd had the ball on their own 39. It was second and one, and Rakeem Cato hit Tommy Schuler for a seven-yard reception of first down at the 46. Then on second and third from the 47, Rakeem Cato went to Schuler for a four-yard reception of first down at the Northern Illinois 43. They were then faced with a third and seven from the 40. And Rakeem Cato ran nine yards for the first down at the 31. And then on second and six from the 27, Rakeem Cato dropped back to pass and he hit Deontay McManus for a 27-yard reception. That would be a touchdown that would make it now a 25-point lead for the Thundering Herd with the score. Marshall 45, Northern Illinois 20. So now the Huskies would take over on their own 21 with about 12 minutes left in this game. They would end up getting the ball into Marshall territory and in all the way down to the four-yard line. But on second and goal from the four, they lost 10 yards. And two plays later, out would come Christian Hagen to attempt a 31-yard field goal. It was up. It was good. And the score is now Marshall 45, Northern Illinois 23. So now the Thundering Herd would get the ball after the kickoff on, their, on the Northern Illinois. 41 with a 27 yard return by Foster and so on third and five from the 36 Cato went to Schuler. he picked up seven yards in the first down at the 29 then on second and six from the 25 Cato went back to Schuler. he picked up 14 it was now a first down in the red zone on the northern Illinois 11 they're then faced with a third and three from the four and Rakeem Cato took it in himself for the four yard touchdown run and it was now Marshall 52 northern Illinois 23 so now the Huskies would get the ball with about four minutes left to play. They had it on their own 28, and they went three and out and punted from the 32. So now the Thundering Herd would have the ball backed up against their own end zone on their own three-yard line with three minutes left to play. But they were up by so much that it really didn't matter at this point as they were already up by 27. So on first down, though, Cato went to Schuler. He picked up 12 yards in the first down at the 15. Then on third and seven from the 18, Stuart Butler ran for seven yards in the first down to the 25. And from there, they would just run the clock out. They actually got a first down on the final play of the game. But this game would come to a close with the final score, Marshall 52, Northern Illinois 23, as the Thundering Herd win the Boca Raton Bowl. They're now 13-1 on the season, Northern Illinois 11-3. And, and in this game for Marshall, Rakeem Cato was 25-37 for 37 with 281 passing yards and three passing touchdowns. He also had 10 carries for 25 yards and two rushing touchdowns. So he combined for five total touchdowns in this game. Drew Hare was 15-27 for 27 with 225 yards and a passing touchdown. He also had 14 carries for 50 yards on the ground. The leading rusher in this game was Devin Johnson of the Herd. He had 15 carries for 130 
71 yards and a touchdown. The leading rusher for Northern Illinois was Joel Bugnon with 13 carries for 82 yards. And Cameron Stingley had 18 carries for 76 yards. And I apologize for the pronunciations. I'm working on that. Tommy Schuler was the leading receiver in this game. He had 18 receptions for 185 yards, including a touchdown. And Deontay McManus had two receptions for 47 yards, including a touchdown. And An Angelo Juan Luis had two receptions for 26 yards and a touchdown as well. And the leading receiver for Northern Illinois was Deron Brown with four receptions for 63 yards. And Aragoros Turner had four receptions for 55 yards. And Jawan Breskinen had two receptions for 40 yards. So the Thundering Herd just dominate Northern Illinois. It was somewhat close early. I mean, the Huskies did score the first points. But at halftime, it was a double-digit lead, although it was a two-score game. But in the end, it was the final score. Marshall 52, Northern Illinois 23. 